Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving a quick and easy equation with two variables, where we have a squared plus one over a squared plus b squared plus one over b squared equals four, and we're supposed to solve for a and b. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, notice that one over a squared is the same thing as one over a all squared, which means that this is a sum of two squares. And since one over b squared is the same thing as one over b all squared, the same thing is true for these two, which means that we have two sums of two squares on the left hand side. Now here's the question. What do we do when we have a sum of two squares? Aha, uh -huh. we complete the square. And here's how we do it. So we all know that x minus y all squared equals x squared plus y squared minus 2xy, which indicates that x minus 1 over x all squared is the same thing as x squared plus 1 over x all squared minus 2x times 1 over x, which simplifies to x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 2. So notice that this is a perfect square, which means that if we have something squared plus the reciprocal of that thing squared, we can complete the square by subtracting 2. So based on this, if we want to complete the square using these two, we need to subtract 2. And the same thing is true for these two. So let's go ahead and do that. So we know that we have a squared plus 1 over a squared plus b squared plus 1 over b squared equals 4. So let's go ahead and complete the square using these two by subtracting two from both sides. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with these two. So we're going to have a squared plus one over a squared minus two plus b squared plus one over b squared minus two equals zero. Now we know that this is a minus 1 over a all squared, and this is b minus 1 over b all squared, and their sum is equal to 0. But the thing is, we know that this is non-negative as well as this one. So the sum of two non-negative numbers is 0, which means that both of them have to be equal to 0. So we have a minus 1 over a equals 0, and b minus 1 over b equals 0. So let's go ahead and solve these two for a and b. To solve the first one, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by a to get a squared minus 1 equals 0, which means that a squared equals 1, which means a equals positive or negative 1. We can do the same thing with b, and we get b equals positive or negative 1. So we have two solutions for a and two solutions for b, which means that we have a total of four pairs of solutions for our equation, and they are as follows. So a comma b equals 1 comma 1, or 1 comma negative 1, or negative 1 comma 1, or negative 1 comma negative 1. Great. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed watching this, hit the like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you later.